drive across that bridge as soon as they got the car on top of that bridge it collapsed so the car went down into the drainage ditch, the outflow channel of the lake yeah this street this bridge was taken out I think all these streets they cut the town in half okay so that little outflow channel where they built that temporary bridge across for pedestrians to walk across was the only way and this was the party spot for everybody back then to get out and have a little little campfire ring there yeah that's the place I don't know if they made that bigger or it changed or not but that's where all the guys and their girlfriends would hang out they would get high if no one else sees there you don't want your kids hanging out there I don't know if that's still the common spot or not back across this bridge yeah the old lit bus would uh, pick up people here that one place over there used to call the Alamo market you could buy chicken 99 cents a pound I think you can get a was it your 99 or 199 a 10 pound bag of potatoes okay now this place used to call gold fire well, I worked a little bit there. They built fire logs for fireplaces, you know, the little gas logs and stuff you can see. People have their fake fireplaces. They built, one time during the war, they built guns right there. That one guy worked there, he says, there was a hole in the, foot ground, in the concrete, you look down in there, there was a gun. Yeah. So there might be uh, guns buried in on that property there. Let me show you. See this street here? Before the 1980 flood, you used to be able to drive your car straight up. So, this is the only street they did not make a, a complete drive through. They just left it like this for the outflow channel. As you see, it's growing back up with weeds, restricting the water flow to go out. So that's the problem why the lake flooded over because that was overgrown and plus all the homeless lived down in there so well they got a guy down the road there with a backhoe cleaning some of that out so hope he goes all the way down and the reason why the lake flooded over is canyon lake when they got too much water, they opened their dam up. It flowed into Elsinore. And there was another dam before that one. They opened up to go into Canyon Lake. So there was two lakes draining into Lake Elsinore. So. Yeah, there's still a few of those little roach apartments around. Roach hotels. Oh, man. I did that old place. You know, didn't have much money I had to rent. 200 a month. Dude, the tile is so wore out. You can see the wood underneath the tile. Dude. They had the biggest cockroaches you've seen. They were like one inch long, half inch wide. They were called, I think they called them water bugs or whatever. This is another roach hotel. I guess someone fixed up. Oh boy, repainting this fence.
yeah, you may hear that little noise. That's just a little piece of molding for you know, sort of mud puddle splash. I just got to put a little clip in there, and that'll take care of that. Yeah, they don't build cars like they used to. Yep, up here on the right. by the cops for drugs or something there because they're still standing now this circle K on the right one time was private owned saw a guy stealing there I called the cops up you know gave them exactly what's wearing and all that stuff the dispatcher goes oh you sound like you know the person what an idiot So, I'll show you another Circle K. It used to be a Circle K. Now it's a private store they opened up. I don't know if I can pause my video or not.